Good morning, everybody. My name is Eric Hart. I'm the Applications Manager here at Styles Machinery. Today, we're going to look at some questions that we always get regarding to CNC machinery. Today's topic is going to be fixturing. How do we hold parts onto a machine so it doesn't move when we machine it? So we're going to go real basic today. We're going to look at uh, pot and rail versus nesting. And behind, uh, over here, we have a nested basin router with a, uh, uh, the um, MDF table. So we're going to look at the two different types of fixturing on routers. Over here we have our nested, ba or this is our pod and rail machine. So what that's basically saying is, I have rails and I have pods that go onto these rails. On our machine here, this is our uh, Sensitech uh, P115. They clip on and we have vacuum that comes up through the rail to hold the part down. So vacuum comes through the bottom, through the top, parts held down. So the big question is, where do I put the pods and rails? How do I know where all these go? So what we have on this machine is an is a alignment system that shows you exactly where all your pods and rails need to go. So if I accept the program here, my machine is going to look at my program and realize that I need pods and rails, and it's going to light up my benches with LED lights to show me where to put everything. So you can see it wants one here. So I have a, in the back, I have an area where it tells me where to line up the rail. And on the pot itself, I have a little plastic clip here that from the side, I'm going to clip this on and slide it into it. Too far. There we go. So it knows exactly where it goes. And it's also showing me from the LED what size pot I need to use. So I have on my machine here two different sizes. And these are available in multiple different sizes, but these are the two sizes that we have on this machine. So it's showing me that I'm going to need a total of four pods, or six pods, actually. So I clip those on. And now I'm ready to go. The way the vacuum holds can you, can you show again uh, the program, Derek, why it's uh, sure. telling you where those should go? So within the program that we have here on our power touch control, I have pods laid out where they need to be. So if I double click on that, it's going to bring up, if I double click faster, it's going to bring up my program. And then within my program, I've defined where the pods and rails go. Now I can also tell the machine, tell me where to do it. So if I turn these off, I can then tell the machine, tell me where you think I should put them. And it then gives me a recommendation of where to put my pods and rails. This is keeping in mind any opportunity to route into them so that it has a safety clearance around that pod so that the area that it's going to be on won't be hit with a router. So if I turn the machine on, it's going to get a little bit loud for a second. But my locating pins come up and my lifting bar comes up and I can set the part on here. Now if I had the right size part this would be a lot better but you can see that the part's a little bit too small. So the part would go on here and then I would, I would move these in temporarily, hit vacuum, the lifting rails drop out of the way, the part's now held by vacuum. The advantage of this type of production or well, this type of fixturing is I have all the access around the part on the sides. So if I need to use a bull nose cutter or do a round over on that, I have the ability to do that without worrying about hitting my pod or hitting my bench. So I have full access to the sides of this. I can horizontal bore, I can vertically drill, and I can route everywhere on here. That's the biggest advantage of this. In a system like this with pod and rail, you would typically use it with a saw. So the saw would cut the part to size it would come here and be finally machined. So with all that little bit of information, let's walk over the next type of fixturing and we'll compare the difference to a nested based manufacturing. This is my Sensitech N500 nested based router. This machine is actually tied in with a uh, IntelliStore, so bringing material to it, automatic on feed, label printing, and then producing of the part. The difference here is instead of a pod on there, I use a porous table or MDF in this example that allows vacuum to be pulled from through the part to hold it down. So here I also have rails 
to locate the part in pins. And I'm going to put my sheet on here, vacuum it down, and machine the parts through. And if you can look really close here, you can see that I have some marks that have routed through into the MDF. So this is a sacrificial board. So over time, I'll have to re-fly cut this. And we have programs on the machine by default that automatically re-fly cut, and they also adjust the Z height so that it knows how thick this board is at all times. I'm going to show the vacuum here. It's going to get a little bit louder on this one because with, with nested based, we typically run larger vacuum pumps just to be able to uh, overcome the loss of vacuum. So let me turn the machine on. So with it on here, I locate with my side stop. Because this machine is a push off machine, I use side stops instead of just pins like on my pod and rail machine. But I do have a pin here. I hit the pedal, vacuum engages, heart's held down. Now it's kind of hard to show that on video that the heart's not going to move anywhere, right? So one little trick here is you can release the vacuum. And if I take this part and push it, I do it right. Okay, so if I activate vacuum, you can see that it instantly grabs that part. So even though all of this air is free flowing around it, I have enough volume with the two vacuum pumps that we run on this machine to overcome that. Now typically on a nested based, go to the control and I'll show you on typically on a nested based, we're doing full sheets. So the difference here is also that I may not need a saw. So I may be using a full sheet of material on the table. You can see I have a pattern up here of three parts that will be machined out. That way I can put a full sheet up and when it's done, I take off parts and they can go to edge banding or any other operation I have in the, in the shop. So real quickly, that's the idea between nested base and pod and rail. So if we, uh, it's a basic idea, pretty simple. Uh, if you have any questions, please post on our Instagram. Uh, if any questions, we'll answer them tomorrow at 11 o'clock when we do this again. We're going to pick a new topic. We're going to do this every day uh, until we run out of topics, I guess. So um, thanks for watching and uh, have a good day.